a really exciting time, and we're going to start to see the benefits of, of all these breakthroughs that the US and Australia are doing together. President Biden has certainly recruited Australia in his global war against cancer. It's a very sort of innovative way for the US government to bring together different agencies within the government, um, all directed towards cancer research and cancer care. Executive Director of Cancer Research at Melbourne's Peter McCallum Cancer Centre, Professor Ricky Johnston, says joining Biden's alliance of cure hunters has brought immediate benefits. So far, $10 million in research grants to the Peter Mac Centre alone, targeting melanoma and breast and prostate cancers. It seems like such an extraordinarily ambitious intention. Cure cancer, we're going yeah. to do that. Yeah, and, and if you think about it, that's in the psyche of, of the US and in Australia, actually. I mean, to have a crack, to have a real go. If we've got the money, we can do it. I think so, and we've got the talent. Um, and it's a hard problem. We shouldn't underestimate, um, you know, how difficult this problem is. Um, but there's the technological know-how, there's the people, there's the support, and now there's the willingness to do it. I mean, all those things are aligning in a beautiful way. This is major, isn't it? Yeah, it's major. It's major, and I didn't even realise fully how major it was. And in terms of affecting people's lives, this is really an incredible uh, endeavour, and, and it brings so much good. That hope and progress is expected to continue no matter who the future president is. Uh, I don't think they're Ambassador they're Caroline Kennedy says they're just as cancer has no political <laughs> allegiance, <laughs> Cancer Moonshot is supported by all sides. And like so many families, Caroline's has not been immune from this terrible blight. Her mother Jackie died of non-Hodgkin's lymphoma in 1994. And her uncle, Ted Kennedy, succumbed to aggressive brain cancer in 2009. Are you comfortable to talk about your own family experience um, in terms of, you know, the shock, perhaps, if that's what it was um, when your mother was diagnosed, when your uncle was diagnosed? Well, yeah, sure. I mean, and I, uh, there's, those are just two of... of a few, a few more said. Luckily, it was years ago, and I'm sure that were they diagnosed today, maybe things would have evolved differently. But I feel like it was a, a very, you know, one of the life-changing experiences for me as well. And of course, I miss them every day, but I try to, you know, go forward with them in mind, and they're always with me. They'll be behind the wheel with you. Yeah, right. <laughs> Uncle Teddy had a blue convertible that he used to drive around, so I. I feel like he, he would really like this. <laughs> In preparation for next week's epic shitbox rally, the ambassador's husband, Professor Edwin Schlossberg, invited the embassy community to sign Caroline's moonshot car. It will carry the names of cancer survivors, those still fighting and those who have lost their battle, as the ambassador takes on the outback in her drive against this disease. Now, you, you're aware, of course, of uh, the danger of kangaroos. Um, yeah, but I, there's a hundred other cars out there, so yeah. I think my odds are good. Yeah, this is like you the ocean swimming. Yeah, yeah, exactly. She won't exactly. be in the front. Yeah, yeah it definitely oh. won't be in the front. Oh, I can't. Well, I don't know, just because I don't know where I'm going, probably. But. The same cannot be said of the diplomatic year ahead. With your vote, we Despite will the fast approaching US election, where punters the predict the president's odds against Donald Alex. Trump are not Back so good. You're here to advance the agenda of the president, and you've said it's a very full agenda. So what will the next eight months look like? Um, there are um, major developments uh, coming along with AUKUS partnership, and, um, and then we work together you know, across the Pacific, um, delivering vaccines, uh, strengthening civil society, provide infrastructure, um, and then there's climate. So there's really a, a lot going on. Formerly the US ambassador to Japan from 2013 to 2017, Caroline Kennedy is used to our busy region. She's also witness to the challenges we face. I really wanted to come back to the region and see how the issues had developed over the, the intervening years. And certainly the, the regional security environment is even more tense than it was then. As you see the changes in the region, do you fear, is there any fear for the future? Well. 
not when Australia and America are working together. I feel like um, you know we have this incredible uh, partnership, and it goes back a hundred years. And there's no two countries that understand each other better. Um, so I feel like we can meet whatever challenges come our way. You think that's assured for the future, whoever the president might be? Definitely.